okay in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can make a dc to dc converter that is the boost converter within the proteus but first of all you must know that for what we are going to make the circuit because in boost converter we always need an increase in dc voltage on the output side that is if our converter is getting 4 volt it will emit either 20 volt or 25 or 30 but it must be greater than the input voltages so you can also say that boost converter is actually a dc voltage booster or a dc voltage increaser so how we are going to make this circuit just follow these steps first we will click on this p that is part library or part list and we will write here we need to write irf 540 and we, we have to select this irf 540n and this acts as our switching device this our switching device it is actually an FET or field effect transistor then then we need to take inductor the generic one and we just air filled inductor we just take an air filled inductor okay now we also need one fast switching diode that is 4148 you can also use some other but 4148 is a bit better due to its fast switching now we need to take two capacitors of 100 microfarad but you can use in any but here we are using these 100 microfarads okay and now one battery must be there to provide the input voltages sorry go to p and write here battery and here it is mentioned battery of single cell so you can take it now right click on this capacitor and click on rotate anti-clockwise now one thing more to be mentioned that these capacitors are non-electrolytic or non-polar so you can connect them in any of the direction you want now connect battery with that of the inductor and capacitor in parallel with these to now attach like this and also the your trans uh, the field effect transistor right click on c2 and take this rotate clockwise attach it with the diode and then with the inductor now okay now we have attached this capacitor now we need one load resistor so we will use our 18 ohm resistor quarter watt on the output we will right click on it we will rotate clockwise then this and then okay, then this okay like it now click on this battery and 
changes the voltages to the 4 volt or you can also use 5 volts 5 volts then double click on the inductor and you must have to write one micro henry as the inductance because FET must be given a certain frequency to operate so here we will take this pulse and we will just feed it with this pulse okay we will double click on this and here we will write 12 volt as the pulse high voltages and 90 nano as the rise time 90 nano is the fall time 70 percent is the duty cycle duty cycle is actually the amount of time in which the whole cycle is on as you can say in percentages like if it is on for half time and off for half time so it is 50 percent it is having 50 percent duty cycle here frequency we will use around 40k 40 kilohertz sorry is not valid so 70 okay just write 70 and press ok now take one DC voltmeter and connect it with the output also save it because it can crash at any time can now also take ground and connect it with the negative sides of all the components and now we will observe that what will happen on the output that how much voltages we will get for d1 no model specified for d1 so we will double click on it it is like a DL4148 okay this is one micro Henry okay we will increase it to three micro Henry press ok and then again click on this this pulse and pulse high voltages start second 90 and all these things are okay there is problem in the 4148 diode so we need to delete it out and we will take another 4148 so you need to write 4148 so okay. okay we will write this one hopefully it will work fine for this okay now we can see that we have converted our 5 volt dc volts to the 30 volts dc so here you, you can use all these tactics and all the circuit schematic to get a boost converter of your own choice you can change the frequency of the switching device or the value of the inductor or even the capacitors value and you can get some different voltage on the output so simple this is a 5 volt to 30 volt DC converter hopefully you got the concept and now you can make the circuit at your own so thanks for watching this video tutorial.